Hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> um, go to the profile and kind of give me a smile, please. And come back to me. Looks like you broke your nose. Yeah, I've, I don't know if I've broken it, but I have been hit a couple times. Do you recall any particular uh, hit? Because you're pretty athletic, aren't you? Yeah, I've had 14 concussions. Oh my god. <laughs> so probably one of those had yeah. something to do with it. Yeah. And uh, concussions during athletic activity or? Uh, yeah, soccer, basketball, field hockey, like at all different sports. All different in so because from just from looking at it, you know, you have a beautiful nose. I love the tip of your nose and the nostrils and everything. It's really gorgeous. So it looks like again you you had some injuries, and um, we'll be able to. Take, how's your breathing? You breathe okay? No, it like burns when I breathe, and mm -hmm. I can't always breathe out of both nostrils. Mm -hmm. So it's um, sometimes it's left side, sometimes it's right side, mm -hmm. and it changes. And, yeah. Uh, how long would you say that have you noticed that there's a problem in breathing? I couldn't breathe since like sixth grade. Like that's when I started getting nosebleeds. No, it was sixth grade. Was it? Yeah. Middle school? Yeah. And that's when I, st I started getting really bad nosebleeds and then I got my nose cauterized and then it got better, but I still couldn't breathe that well. And then I started getting nosebleeds more recently. Mm -hmm. So it's deviated to the left, both the bone and the cartilage are and let's look at the right side. Again, your, your memory looks pretty bad uh, today. A little iffy. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think we should do iffy. I think we should wait till it gets better. Yeah, I think we have to wait. I think it's the safest, the safest thing to do. Actually, you're so, videoing. The phone is videoing. But I'm holding the camera, so I'm videoing. I'm vlogging. Um, part two of going to the doctors to try to get surgery. I think my nose is a lot better than last time. So we'll see. I got checked two days ago, so I should be fine. How are you feeling about surgery today? I'm nervous. Are you? I'm nervous. Very. What if they accidentally chop my nose off? I don't think that's gonna happen. I think he knows how to. He's not a physicist, but he. Multiple injuries in her nose to the point that she can't even remember how many injuries she's had. If you look at it, it's this beautiful nose fits her face beautifully. The only thing you can see is that the two bones have been widened because they, one of the injuries or more of the injuries came directly on the bridge and the bones spread out so they become wide here absolutely beautiful definition the tip nostril complex is so perfect that it doesn't need any change the main component of the surgery is the septum which is inside right behind this columella behind this columella it's supposed to be straight like that. And in her case, she has a deviation. The septum twists. There's a twist to the right. So it starts here and there's a twist to the right. And then there's another twist to the left. So it's like a zigzag. So Dixie, you're going to go to sleep. I just I wanted to chat with you. Mm -hmm. And um, so your breathing is really bad on both sides, right and left. One side is worse than the other. Mm -hmm. Is it? The right side. Right side is really bad, huh? Yeah. yeah. And like when I run, it was really hard to breathe and I would like pass out so I couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything is done from the inside, so there are no scars. You're mm -hmm. going to be fully asleep, so you're not going to hear anything, you're not going to know anything, and you have a superb result. So you're ready to go to sleep? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Barbara? Okay. Yeah. All right, so happy thoughts and you're going to have a great result, all right? Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm home. I keep, my ears keep popping. I cried right after surgery because I wanted to go home so bad. And I just want to snort. Like, I want to breathe in so deep, but there's cotton on my nose. And my forehead's itchy, but it's also numb. What is this? Hello. So I wasn't a good ball girl before. Probably won't be any good now. I keep crying and I don't know why. I hope you have a good day. <coughs> Keep your head up, it's bedtime. Vlogging.
right now we have ice packs, sparkly ice mask on my face. We have mom. Ah. We have a humidifier running. Ah. Jeez, you can't even tell I'm smiling, but I'm smiling. I don't know why I'm using the humidifier. It's not like I can breathe it in. I look like the cat in the hat. Oh, I'm the cat in the hat. There's no doubt about that. I'm a super luxurious feline. I know every word. Okay. Bye, vlog. Hey, so it's day two after surgery and such a rough night trying to sleep i kept because i sleep on my face i kept trying to sleep on my face but you can't do that and like my nose doesn't hurt at all but i have an awful migraine and i get really bad migraines so that's just where all my pain is right now on my face and my teeth really hurt i feel uppity but also my body feels sore i don't remember the last time like i've had a real deep breath unless i wore like breathing strips because i was supposed to get this surgery in sixth grade or like that's what i found out i had nose problems and i just kind of kept it on the back of my mind for so long i don't know and then when charlie got it she said how easy it was i was like all right you know what it's fine oh but my head just is killing me. And also, my ears keep popping. Like, I don't know if the cast is pushing my nose up. I'm kind of confused at what's going on here. I couldn't kind of stop crying last night over my thoughts. I think the medication. I'm looking at myself, but the camera's over here. Now I'm upside down. Alright, I'm gonna go. Bye. Y'all, so right now I am going to the doctor to get my cast off. I'm super excited to finally be getting this off. I don't know why, but like I've been crying so much. I think it's like from all the medication and like the anesthesia, but um, I'm super excited to finally be getting it off. Basically, I'm gonna explain it really quick, like what I did. I saw people like, this is lying about her nose surgery. I said I got it. So everyone was like, she didn't break a nose. Like, what are the odds two sisters break their nose? I'm like, huh? So that, and I couldn't breathe. And from me breaking my nose, I had like a bump and whatever. So I fixed the bump. I get it's fixing it cosmetically, but I'm fixing it back to what it was. So it's not like I'm recreating a whole new nose, but we'll see it today. But my bruising is so good. All right, so see you guys at the doctor's. Hello! So, um, I just got out of the doctor's. I'm so happy with it because it looks like my little baby nose. And as you heard all that, like I just learned so much because I, I honestly didn't know what I was doing in surgery. I just wanted to fix my breathing and fix and repair it back to what it used to look like. So I'm super happy. And I learned a lot today of how it all happened. What? That's so weird. I can breathe out of both nostrils. I don't know. But I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Dr. Canodia. I don't know if this is going to be my outro, but bye if it is. See you soon if it isn't. Bye.